Greetings, fellow flight nerds and tech enthusiasts. I've recently dipped my toes, well, eyes really, into the vast ocean of virtual reality and was lucky enough to bag myself a shiny new Pimax Crystal VR headset. It's been a wild ride, and let me tell you, I've made enough VR mistakes to qualify for a bloopers reel. Interested in joining this crazy VR journey yourself and want to save some cash on the Pimax Crystal? Then dive into the link below and don't forget to use the magical code NOCTURNAL20 at checkout. Upon my initial startup, my fancy schmancy NVIDIA 4090 graphics cards threw a temper tantrum when I tried to connect the Pimax Crystal. Too many screens, it cried. A little chat with the lovely folks at Pimax and some googling later, it seems my GPU was a bit overwhelmed with the screen party I was throwing. Long story short, even the 4090, when juggling more than two standard screens in the Pimax Crystal headset, basically says, nope, not today. The tech specs pointed out bandwidth issues. When I reduced the screens to two, everything worked. But who in their right mind wants to unplug monitors every time? Not this guy. But fret not, my tech savvy friends. I've dug deep and found some workarounds just for you. Hold on to your VR goggles, it's about to get tectacular. Welcome to Nocturnal Simulations, where every week we bring you 90 seconds of tech tips, helping you maximize graphics and performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator, ensuring a smooth and stutter-free experience at a whole new level. Today's topic is about multiple monitors and VR headsets. Alrighty, techno wizards, let's dive right into the pixelated problem-solving pool. So, after hours of tinkering, twiddling, and a tad bit of tantrum throwing, I've unearthed not one, but two trusty methods to give you life to that shiny VR headset of yours. Method numero uno, the good old fashioned manual way. Roll up your sleeves, grab that mouse, and brace for some clickety click action. Method number two o, the lazy, or as I prefer, efficient way. This involves a snazzy piece of software that's ready to do the heavy lifting for you. There's just a teeny tiny catch. This digital wizardry comes with a price tag of 35 US dollars. May seem a bit steep, maybe. But if you've already splashed out on a high-end VR headset, think of it as buying a fancy cup holder for your luxury car. Because let's face it, who wants to juggle juice when you can squeeze out all the fun without the fuss? All right, tech aficionados, grab your popcorn or a caffeinated beverage, because we're about to dive into the nitty gritty world of manually doing these settings. Trust me, it's not as boring as it sounds. Method numero uno, the handy dandy manual extravaganza. Sounds fancy, right? Step one, begin the magical journey on your Windows 11 because we're living in the future by giving your desktop a nice right click. It enjoys the attention. Step two, spot that tantalizing option called display settings. Give that a cheeky click. Step three, welcome to the system display wonderland. Here's where things get juicy. You'll see a smorgasbord of screens, probably more than you remember connecting. Step four, for those over-enthusiastic extra screens, locate the drop-down menu that's currently flirting with the extend desktop to this display option selected. Give it a little tap and ask it to switch to disable. This is like telling those screens, shh, shh, take a nap now. And just like that, you're giving your VR headset the green light, all without budging an inch from your cozy chair or straining those pricey video card ports. Now. Let's look into the land of semi-automation. Why do the hard work when you can let the machines do it for you, right? Especially when the process is smoother than a freshly waxed surfboard. Method number 2 the almost magical auto mode. Meet Display Fusion, our trusty sidekick in this technological dance. Lucky for me, I've had this gem stashed away from the ancient times before Windows graced us with the extended taskbars. Ah, the good old days when things were probably cheaper. First stop on this tech tour is the monitor configuration page within Display Fusion. Here's where you'll play mix and match with your monitor settings. Two, just arrived, get all those flashy screens up and running. Perfect. Start by saving this as your default profile. Three, next, disable the screens you don't need. Yes, there'll be a little disco flicker with each adjustment, but consider it a mini light show. Four, remember with the Pimax Crystal, it's a two monitor party. Once you sorted out your ideal duo, save this as your new profile. Five, and here's where the magic happens. Switching between profiles is as swift as a rabbit's hop. All you gotta do is shimmy over to your taskbar, give Display Fusion a right click, and swap the profiles. Voila, seamless transitions without breaking a sweat. And here's a pro tip from the tech trenches. I've craftily plugged in four monitors and my Pimax Crystal. How? By firing up the integrated graphics on my Intel i9-13900K processor and plugging it into a motherboard port. This means I don't have to contort into all kinds of weird shapes to swap cables behind the computer. I mean, who needs extra yoga, right? In conclusion, my tech comrades, the goal is simple. 
Transition without tension. No more pesky plugging and unplugging monitors. And if this treasure trove of tips helped you conquer your VR challenges, feel free to drop some love by clicking that buy me a coffee link below and checking it out. Till next time, keep soaring in those digital skies. Happy flying.